Hello everyone and welcome to Sunburned Albano Plays Might and Magic Clash of Heroes. Uh, the game froze on the last video, but it still kept all the save data, so we're going to start off the second campaign as Godric and get to work with all the soldiery type en units. Not enemies anymore, are they? And uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be just as fun as the last one. And then, uh, yeah, it's basically how it's going to be. There's five campaigns. I've mentioned that many, many, many times. Uh, some of them are more fun than others. Uh, this one's okay. It's not the best, but it's all right. I must hurry to the Emperor. Oh, hey. Master Goldrick, as I live and breathe, the Unicorn Duchy feared you dead. There's no time to talk. We loyal swordsmen will join you. Well, thanks. Why would I need troops here in Talonguard? What a strange fellow. <laughs> Super strange, bro. Oh, citizens are barred from the Emperor's castle in these times of war. Step back, son. I am Godric, son of Lord Edric. I must speak with the Emperor. Son of Lord Edric? The traitor? Guards, do not let him get away. What? Traitor? How dare you? Now we're going to take him on with our swordsmen. An issue here, if you could call it that, is that he's got the archers which can charge... The the Griffin Empire archers charge in two turns, but my swordsmen are going to take three, so, you know, he can get the drop on me and attack more often, but at less power, admittedly. But yeah, since we're back to level one, we're back to all, like, base stats and stuff, and, you know, not really large-scale battles. So that's how that works out. Um... It really did not give me a ton of options here. But I guess we'll just do that. And uh, call it a turn. I think Godric's hero spell is actually a lot better than Onwin's. Because uh, what it does is it builds a wall across your HP meter, so you can use it as a last-ditch attempt to like eat some damage from a champion or something. But then all the damage that it, if it doesn't absorb... Like, all the damage left over that it doesn't absorb gets shot back at the enemy. Which is really cool. As you might... guess. Not gonna be a whole lot of fancy uh, strategic shenanigans yet. But we will get there. Okay. And because we have so few units and they all take so long to charge. Oh, actually, this is going to make fusing probably a lot easier. And be because of that, like, our options are more limited, but then we could focus more on, you know, going for those fusions and stuff. So that's cool. All right. Yeah, they might be able to attack sooner, but they can't break through my defenses if they're facing an equally charging unit. So this is actually going to be it, most likely. Okay, that eight. Oh, no, it isn't. Okay. Shows what I know. Uh, but this next turn will definitely be it. So might as well just, like, make some walls. Try to do things that would, uh... Build meter. But... Not a ton of options there. Uh, I just came off a recording... Well, not just, like, yesterday. Came off a recording binge of those, uh, Albino versus Fish. Mortal Kombat episodes, I gotta say, had a ton of fun doing those. And uh, hopefully they will continue for as long as we continue to do them. Because they're fun, I, and I think they're really enjoyable to watch. That might be just my biased opinion, since I do star, co-star in the video. But, uh, yeah, I think they're entertaining. Me and Domestic Fish have good chemistry. As he so oftenly likes to point out.
Sound the alarm. Godric the traitor is on, loose in, on the loose in the Empire. They mean to capture me. I'll try to lose them in the alleys to the... Okay, you're just gonna be Batman then, I guess. I'll try to lose them in the alleys to the west. Hey, guys. My name's... <laughs> That's not even close. Not even close to Kevin Conroy's Batman. But, you know... I'm, I'm not, like, 50, so it's hard to, like, really reach down there in the vocal register. I must try to slip past these guards and avoid being on the same path as them at all costs. This puzzle is super convoluted. Uh, and also, like, just really dumb in general. Like, this is basically what you do. Dun, 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 dun. Cause you can't like sneak up behind them either. Cause you ju you can't you just can't be on the same path. Cause they'll like I don't know they have eyes in the back of their head I guess, which is weird. I don't remember if there's anything worthwhile in this chest, but I am gonna give it a shot. If it's an artifact, I could use one. Cause I have none at the moment. Oh, Phoenix Feather. Revive after... Why not, right? Just get the free instant revival there. And revive with 25% HP, and there's no, like, cost to do that. Honestly, if I'm gonna lose, I'd rather just, like, take the loss. Unless it's in against, like, a frustrating battle. I guess we'll play it by ear. Hurry up. Go. Go more. We lost him. As soon as I get to the exit point, they're like, oh, I guess he can't be here anymore. We'll get him sooner or later. You aren't getting past me, traitor. Not only will I get past you, but I shall make you pay for your loose tongue as well. Yeah, so those guys just run away, but then this guy just comes along. They're not coming back to help him, because nobody... They keep saying, sound the alarm. Everybody seems to know that I'm here, but they don't seem to want to travel very far to try to get me. So, you know, whatever. Alright. Yeah, this is going to be a fusion-heavy campaign, I think. Because when you've got basic units that charge three, you're going to want to make their attack as potent as possible. And this guy's using a smattering of all the three different kinds of units. Fusing really does make your chargers borderline unstoppable and this guy's got all his units in some kind of formation he's being very effective gotta say they did not give me any blue guys to put here so that's not cool all right Good shot. You really took the hell out of that wall there. I mean, there's not really anything for him to do. Except try to withstand the brunt force of my fused units. <laughs> uh. Damn it, you could you could have made one of them blue. Another great shot at the wall. Yep, you are trying to seal off that hole, and it's probably going to work. I think I'm going to do a little bit of damage still. Yeah, two. Two's fine. Okay, what is your damage? I can't see. I think that says six, but maybe it says four. My wall strength is three. I'm going... Oh, but it's not going to lower his uh, attack anyway. 
Damn. Oh, that's nice, actually. That's really nice, because now I get to use this. Edric's Shield. Yeah, protects my health, absorbs a set amount of damage, and then whatever damage is not, you know, been focused on trying to absorb, he shoots it right back at the enemy. So that's cool. Interesting. Do I have the spear guy's ability wrong? Maybe it's only when it comes to attacking charging formations. Well, we win, so. Oh, we didn't get to see the wall shoot out. Oh, it's too bad. Too bad. All right, plus five health and plus two units. It's quite nice. Each faction has a secret unit. I don't remember what the secret unit of this one is. I think it's actually a champion. Like, it's a secret champion unit. Psst, over here. Kirkodrick, son of Lord Edric, I dared to tell my superiors that your father was no traitor. Count Carlisle ordered my execution for it. I fled, and I've been on the run ever since. I and my family thank you, sir. I am not used to being hunted in my own lands. May I join you? I was going north to the Sleeping Stag Inn. It's a refuge for loyal men who have fallen from favor. Okay, cool. Uh, we can't go into that cave, unfortunately, because it's too high level. Oh, another guy. More guards. There must be some pattern to their patrol. If I study them, I could... Oh, yeah, because you can't see me right there. Okay. Okay. There he is! Alright, so they're gonna move forward two and then back one. Because they're assholes. Oh, no, they're not. What the hell's going on here? Oh, shit. Uh, excuse me. Oh, okay, I get it. I do. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. I really do like this sort of ambient elevator music. It's quite nice. Go. Dun 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 Don't be assholes. That's exactly correct. We've lost him, that little traitor bars. Oh well good, I can get this gold. First demon plots and barrel on, and now my beloved homeland is gripped by madness. And why, by the breath of Elrath, would my family be branded as traitors? I don't know. We're gonna have to find out, I guess. Okay. I do remember the battle puzzles in this area being very difficult. So we'll see if I can actually even do them. Oh no, I've forgotten the combination to the Sleeping Stag puzzle lock! Wait, I'll use that rhyme to help me remember. Sky is blue, grass is green, and knights bleed proudly red. These three things you can count on just as sure as I need a bath and a bed. Okay. No, we can't buy them. Too bad. I want those knights. Blue, green, red. Well, how do I become a member? If you can battle past me and figure out the puzzle log, then a member you shall be. Hit the colored shields in the correct order to enter the sleeping stag in. So this is another puzzle thing. Uh, it's annoying, I do believe, because they will try 
Because you'll set up your uh, guys in the correct order, but then, like, some of your attacks will get blocked without you knowing, and then it'll screw up your entire order. Essentially, okay, so blue, green, red is how this is supposed to go first. Okay, so you're gonna go off. Then I'm gonna want to set up some white guys to go off here. But they're gonna try really hard to make it so I can't do that. Uh, which essentially means that I have to abandon that one and fuse these guys. But it's cool because we can afford to waste a turn if we're replacing our soldiers on the right with archers that charge in one less turn. But then, of course, you know, they're still going to block the shit out of me over here now. So we're going to have to fuse those guys as well. But I don't actually think we'll be able to. Uh, yes, we will, actually. Yeah, because we'll have that, and then we'll have exactly three moves to be able to get the other two archers over here. And then we're really going to need to set something up for red here. Okay. And then move you there, because we're not going to make yellows for the other one we'll probably have. Hopefully, we'll probably get ar some archers to drop here. Hopefully, this fusion is enough to actually break through, because I know they are the weaker units. Alright, yeah, we'll be able to break through, and we'll get green on the next one. All right. And we should be set up properly now. Because if we aren't, and if they decide that they want to drop their reinforcements in all the right places, which they kind of can't at this point, well, but then we would be screwed. And I don't think we're even going to need to fuse here. What we are going to need to do is get ready to block some attacks. Okay. Just don't make a formation in this area, please. Okay, so we got the wall that's gonna guard most of that damage. I could put two guys there while we make this wall. Okay, we should eat minimal damage from that as well. Okay, you got me. Just do not be dicks about this. We can break through that because it's only their first turn charging. They have not built up the necessary power to stop me. Adayama. Okay, alright. I don't like the puzzle levels. I don't. Uh, they're unnecessarily stressful. And that's just how I feel about it. You know what I'm saying? All right. Since we don't have the spear guys yet, I don't feel any... Holy shit. I don't feel a need to specialize in any one particular unit yet. 
But when the spear guys come, I might have to take relook at the description of their ability and then decide if they are going to be worth it. Because I I thought, oh maybe they're oh you know what it was there was a on an artifact that made that possible. Okay. If you equipped the proper artifact, you can make it so the spearmen never lost power when they did damage to enemies. Which basically made them unstoppable if they weren't facing, like, elites. Welcome to the Sleeping Stag Inn, lad. Right, is the name? What can I do for you? His accent is very fluid. I seek refuge at your inn, sir. Just a few hours to collect myself. That voice! Godric, is it really you? Surrounded by enemies, even in a murky inn. If you wish to capture me, draw your sword! No, sir, sire, you mistake my intent. It is me, Sir Varkas. You are a knight of the Empire? You know me? Yes, well, I was a knight. Do you not recognize me, Godric? I was a year ahead of you at the Union Acad du du Unicorn Duchy Academy. <laughs> the Unicorn Duchy Academy. We were in the same advanced projousting class. Hmm, Varkas, Varkas. And now I'm here! All because of an elf girl. Convinced me my marching orders from the Emperor were unfounded. That sounds like Anwen. Anwen, yes, that was her name. It was her heart-wrenching story that ruined my life. I argued with Count Carlyle, the newly appointed general. I begged him to stop his war on the elves. He called me a fool to believe her and said Lord Edric was in league with them. He stripped me of my command and jailed my men for following my orders. My father was no traitor, and you are no fool, Sir Varkas. Come, lead me to this jail where your brave men rot. We shall break them out and set things right. Couldn't help but overhear you. i join you. Just let me get my spear. Sir Tolliver, you're overexcited. We'd be happy to have your spear on our side. Just down a cup of Raleigh's head purge tea first. Okay. Alright, but this guy does the battle puzzles and I am gonna check them out. You know, before I was an innkeeper, I was a budding knight. I still like to suit up from time to time and lead my men into sport and battle. Men? What men? My regular customers. Rawley's ready roustabouts we are. I get bored coped up in this inn all day. Do you know what I do to pass the bar hours? You work out? Sometimes, yes. But I much prefer coming up with battle puzzles for my roustabouts. You feel up to taking us on? Sorry, you need a priestess and a knight to take this challenge. Oh, we need the actual- fuck you. I'm pretty sure this guy's too strong. This elf war is pure mischief. A war is suddenly igniting. It's trying to wake up. Yeah, they, those guys are all probably bounties. So we'll go ahead and take them. Greetings, stranger. I represent your local branch of a certain organization. Accept bounties offer. I'll take them. I'll take Boyden. I'll take uh, Valdo. I'll take Carnax. I'll take uh, Irsten. Oh, you're not a bounty, but you are. But you're much too strong for me, unfortunately. On the fortune, Italy. All right, but we got the spearmen. I guess we'll use them, but they're kind of pointless until we get the artifact. But we would want to level them up until we get that artifact so that they'll be even more useful with it. My men are held in the prison towers to the west. All right, let's go get them. Unfortunately, we can't buy... We could buy one angel. Could we? Alright. Oh, no. Priestess. Well, yeah. Let's equip that. Okay, so we have one priestess. It better not die. The prison door is controlled by two pulleys. We need to hit them both at the same time to open it. Get away from the prison gate. Step closer and we'll attack. Okay, so basically we have to hit them with a link attack. Or we don't, but it would be better if we did. Because then uh, the strength would, you know, would be powerful enough to most likely actually get stuff done here. So... Here's what's gonna happen. I'm going to set that up, and then set this up.
And then while we set those chargers, we'll try to do what we can to get some fusions behind them as well. Alright, so you go. Let's just have let's have you go just because they're gonna put a formation there. Yeah. Okay. And then that, so then we'll have to move. And we'll put an archer here preemptively to help that fusion along. Although we don't really have enough archers available. And also, we're going to get attacked before this shit happens. I need a wall. Which means I need to waste one of my archers. But I can't do that at the same time as this is happening. But I absolutely need that to work. So if I do, if I move you here, that's not, it won't make a wall and a chain at the same time, it'll just make a wall. Fuck! Okay, we're gonna have to start from scratch. I'm putting my I'm not moving my priestess because it takes too many turns to charge which means it takes too long to set up. I just wanted it to charge so if, you know, the damage that we're about to take from some of these attacks will be able to heal back. Cuz uh the priestess is really good at that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so we'll give this another try. But how? That wall actually kind of... ruins my f ability to fuse. Alright, this is gonna be a slow process. Because they're not giving me all the units that I need. They had at the beginning. So yeah, that hit them, but it's just going to go back down because we didn't get the other ones. Okay. Unfortunately, it's kind of difficult. Oh, that's going to make... A wall, and that's not gonna make, that's not gonna do what I needed to do. Unfortunately. I don't need another wall there. So. Put you there. You there. These guys aren't going to be linked, but they are going to go off on the same turn. And luckily that wall doesn't make any difference. Okay. We're going to get this to work. So you go. You go. Oh, but not... No, let's... Oh, but I, I did the wrong... No, because it still has to... I still have to free those guys anyway. Okay. But yeah, we're, we're going to put a, a couple fusions behind these guys as well. And it looks like they're going to let me. Because nobody is set up blocking any of my stuff. And that's good news. Did that just do no damage? That did three... 
they didn't even... I don't even... I don't know. I don't know what happened there. Okay, so we have to break this wall. And a fuse there. And then set up for this fusion. And everything's going to work out perfectly this time for sure. Because as soon as we get these few, you're not going to be able to make anything that can stop me. No matter what you might think. AI. And you're putting all your formations into the wrong places anyway. Okay. That goes like that. Oh, also, I'm in a good mood because Batman Arkham Knight releases tonight, and at exactly 9 p.m. Western, or Central, or whatever it is. Uh, okay, yeah, you go, and then... Yay! And I am going to be recording it at 9 p.m., and then posting the first episode later that n this, this night tonight. So, I'm excited for that. And then, typically, when the Batman games come out, I'll play them for, like, six hours in a row. So, since I am going to record my blind playthrough of it, I'm basically going to record it for six hours, and we'll make our gigantic uh, walkthrough section there. It's not a walkthrough if you don't know what you're doing, but you know what I mean. So, yeah, hopefully that'll be good for people to watch who don't... Maybe if they don't plan on getting the game, but they want to know about it, they can see it. Oh, you were the knights. Oh, good. I get knights then. Uh, we should equip them because um, we get more of them. Yeah, we get three of them. So we'll go there instead of our or instead of our priestesses. Priestesses are nice. Knights much better for defense. And okay, so able to strike the enemy first. I don't know what that means. I think maybe... I think maybe if there was, like, a situation where both people were going to get killed in the attack, they wouldn't because they attacked first. Uh, perhaps. Perhaps that's the deal. He said we need a knight and a priestess. I got those now. So I should be able to do this battle puzzle. And then we're approaching uh, the end... My last video was way too long, an hour, but, you know, that's what has to happen when it's the end thing. You know, before I was an innkeeper, I was a budding knight. I still like to suit up from time to time and lead my men into sport and battle. And we've already read all this goddamn dialogue. Mugs down, swords up, to arms my roustabouts. Ooh, yeah. Destroy all the opponent's units in a single turn. We're gonna do it. I think I figured out the first one, but I think the second one drove me to online. <sighs> so, we've got three angels. Those are the angels. And... We can't do this, because that would be obnoxiously stupid. We have to do this at some point. It's... I'm not entirely sure... But then, we still don't have enough. Like, we have to delete these guys so we can have access to the other yellow ones. That was retarded. That was... God damn it. Okay, so we didn't do it right. Uh, let's try it again. Maybe there's a way to make that wall and make the night fusion oh there is okay so we move that there and then do that oh I like that and then and then it, rather than put this one here we have to set it up here because that will push this knight back that will then put it there. What do you know? I figured it out. Oh, good. 
Oh, shit. No, I didn't. <laughs> nope, that only gets two of them. Oh, fuck me. Okay, what the hell do we do then? We get an extra turn to, like, have to move stuff. This is definitely the right first move. For sure. That gives us three moves. Oh, okay, so we have to move this one. Yeah, because the knight's already going to hit the one in the middle. So this is just redundant, so we just have to move that. So then you would go there. And then, damn it. I'm so confused. <sighs> Is there another way we can set up and get a bonus move then? <gasps> oh, oh, okay. So I've been thinking small, but you gotta think even bigger. Move that here. And then delete this. And that gave me an extra three moves. Now we did it. Now we did it. Okay. It's re I really like how these expand your cranium to like help you think of these kind of moves that you can make on the fly in regular battles, too. I never really have the cognitive ability to think that far in just like a regular match. But I wish I did. Damn. I'm proud of me. I'll admit it. I, I'm glad that we that I got that. Okay. Uh, they're not gonna let me do the next one. I don't think. Nicely done. I guess I'll sketch my next one out on a napkin to make sure it really stump you. A napkin. I'm gonna sketch it out on a napkin. Yeah, but we're going to need some of the champion units to make that work. Uh, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.